Hello everyone, this is Darren. Welcome to day 39 of my weight loss journey. As always, I am so pleased you're here watching these videos. Okay, so in the weigh-in yesterday, I talk about this road trip that I went on. And it actually involved traveling with my son to a new job he had back east. And it involved crossing over eight states, over 2,200 miles, and it was quite the adventure. So what are some things you face in a road trip like this? Well, it could be food challenges. In fact, I want to show you this first challenge I had where I picked a restaurant that didn't have the calories I wanted and I had to improvise a little bit. Hello everyone, this is Darren. I'm on a little cross country trip. We're stopping, I, I Googled unique places to eat in Omaha, Nebraska, and it brought it to this place. So we're gonna check it out. 955 miles, 14 hours in a car. I've been eating good all day. I'm gonna do this and then go work out and uh, make sure I burn more than I eat. So I'm gonna show you what it's like to go cross country eating healthy. I'll keep you posted. Thanks everyone, we'll see you, bye bye. Another challenge you can face is where to work out. Now I had done some research and made sure I stayed at a place that had a fitness center, but what happens when you get there and the fitness center's closed and the key that you had to your room doesn't get you in the fitness center? Well, you have to embark on a little creativity. Watch this next clip. Getting off the elevator. This security guard is nice enough to let me in the gym. I gotta film this, I gotta let people know I'm going to the gym. <clears throat> okay, so here we're gonna go, and thank you, I'll make sure it's locked when I leave. Yeah, there's, there's another guy waiting in there too. Thank you. Uh, and anytime tonight, that's our security number. Just, if okay. you have one or just call us, we'll let you in. Thank you. Now that I've showed you how I got in the gym, let's show you a little bit about what the gym was like. Okay, so this is gonna give you just a quick idea of what the gym looks like. You can see it's a very nice gym. And uh, these are gonna turn out well. Let me go up to the mill. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna do it. We'll see ya, bye-bye. The nice thing about doing cardio is you can do it anywhere. So look at this clip where I'm running along the Missouri River and I apologize, there's a little wind noise in the background. Hey, hey guys, this is Darren. I'm getting in a morning run. I'm in Council Bluffs, Iowa, running along the Missouri River. You can get a workout anywhere, even on a long road trip. Appreciate all you're doing. I'm gonna hit my goal. I hope you hit yours. Thanks everybody. Let's keep going. We'll see ya. During the first night of our trip, we actually ended up eating in Omaha, Nebraska, and then crossed the next morning the Missouri River and stayed in Council Bluffs, Iowa for the night at Harris Hotel, which I showed you. The next part of our trip took us to Elkhart, Indiana, and we found a restaurant there. I was craving steak, and so this is where we ate that night. Hello, everyone, this is Darren. Hey, I'm still on my road trip. Right now I'm in Elkhart, Indiana. We just had uh, some steak, I got some protein and uh, keeping track of my calories. Um, I worked out this morning and I ran. And so uh, my goal is to uh, consume less than I burn and that's our plan. So the trip is going well, we're having a good time. Able to eat some good food too, you guys. This doesn't mean you have to go without. So anyway, hope things are going away. Well. I'll keep you posted. See everyone, bye-bye. Now that night we ate at Longhorn Steakhouse, I chose my items very carefully. I chose a filet, which is very lean, yet gives you a lot of protein. I chose the rice pilaf, which is a lower calorie vegetable option. I also had the Caesar salad, which was the lowest calorie option for the salads. And then I had a third of a roll with some butter. And so I kept track of all my calories and it was very easy that night, as opposed to the very first night when I didn't have the calorie count I wanted and I had to guesstimate. And that can be scary, and I mentioned that's pretty scary. Anyway, here's a video of us starting our final leg of the journey, and this started us off in Indiana, and we went that day to the Philadelphia airport. Hello everyone, this is Darren. Hey, we're starting the final leg of our trip today. Uh, right now we're in Indiana, we're heading to Philadelphia. Um, I'm gonna be flying out tonight to Philadelphia airport, heading back home. So um, I'm anxious to get back to my normal routine. It can be challenging on the road, but it's been a fun time and um, it's great to see part of the country. Anyway, you can do your journey anywhere and um, 
I'm excited to see how this week ends up. We'll see everyone. Bye-bye. So all in all, our trip took us to eight states. Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And I actually ended up flying out of the Philadelphia airport. So what do we learn from all this when you go on a road trip? Do your research. If you're gonna be staying at hotels along the way, try to find some that have a fitness center. And once again, hopefully you can get in and you may have to get creative like me. Secondly, you can always run outside like I showed you in this video. Now, one of my hotels had a fitness room, one of them didn't. And so I wasn't perfect on this trip. Find restaurants where you have a menu that shows the calories. Once again, I was successful one of the times. The other time I wasn't and had to kind of guesstimate a little bit. And that was a little scary. It didn't give me that stress-free eating that we talked about. But you can honestly see from this video that you can go on a long trip, stay in the car, and as long as you work out and make proper choices, you can survive a cross-country road trip like I did. I wish you the best and good luck on your trips this summer. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.